Oh, that's cute. Hey guys, what's up? LD Charlotte here and welcome back to Crazy Craft. Today I'm going to be finishing all the rooms for all the princesses in my castle. But first, let's check the oven which has cooked us some delicious food to eat. Just chicken and steak. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be nomming on today and I'm also going to get a new backpack because I've been using the creeper one lately but it has this feature that if you shift while you're using it, it makes a creeper hiss and I've scared myself with it about 12 times in the past week so I think it's about time I stopped using that so I'm just going to use the chicken one for now because I've never used this one before. Oh that's quite cute actually, doesn't really go with my colour scheme. Wait why is there an egg there? Did you lay an egg? What the heck? How bizarre. So last episode we built the rooms for two of our girlfriends up here. The one on the left here is a huge fan of video games and the one on the right is a fan of Doctor Who. So we just had to give them some names and I asked you guys for suggestions for them. And I've got some signs here so I'm going to put a little sign to remind me what their name is. Forevermore you shall now be known as Ellie the video game fan. And over here Amy Clara Rose, a combination of all the Doctor Who's companions names. Now we can move on to the next room. So next I'm going to move on to decorating this tiny little room up here. This poor girlfriend does not have a lot of room to work with. So I suppose we better give you a name. And I really like this suggestion from the comments to have a girlfriend called Molly and give her a horsey slash equestrian themed room. I think this makes sense for the really small room because she doesn't spend a lot of time in her room. She's mostly, you know, outside with all the horses, even though we don't really have any horses yet. But if we did, she would be with them. And she only has this tiny room filled with horse stuff. So let's see what kind of horse things we can find. Rocking horse. Oh no, that would just look super weird. Where'd this egg come from? I think my backpack gives me eggs. How weird. Is there anything horse related here? Oh, I know. We'll use a saddle on the wall in an item frame. Pop that on the wall there. Ta-da. Oh, and I've got a cool idea as well. We can make a horse backpack. So we need a saddle, leather, hay, and an adventure backpack. We have all these things. For some reason, all the adventure backpacks have gotten really weird and they're looking pretty funky right now, but just ignore that. We use one of these extra saddles. Got a load of leather in here and we have a farm with wheat in it because Joel gave us that super weird farm. Thank you, Joel. You've been inadvertently very helpful today. Oh man, that looks so cute. I'm actually really jealous. I really want this for my own collection, but these are the things I do for love. I'll just pop that there for now. Let's get you a bed. I seem to be going for a rather brown theme in here. And you seem to have gone for that with your outfit as well. So let's go ahead and continue the brown theme. I keep hurting myself on that cactus. It probably wasn't a smart place to put it right next to a ladder. Probably the only time I will ever use a brown bed. <laughs> and this bedside table. Oh, I've had an idea. I can use a decorative head. Okay, let's pop this down here. Put a bedside table here. Very cute. Ta-da, we have a skull. It's supposed to be a horse. Doesn't really look like a horse, does it? Oh, it'd be cool to have some hay in here. Maybe if I can push you out the way. Aha, that looks pretty cool. We could maybe put this head on there. Ta-da, oh, that's cute. Where the heck's Molly gone? Where did she go? Is she hiding in here? Where the heck? Okay, we've lost Molly. Oh, there she is. Girl, you creeping me out. What do you think, Molly? Do you like your new horsey-related room? Good, because we're moving on to the next girls. Oh gosh, you're really close to this ladder. No! She's gone all the way down. Well, I guess it's just me and you. Asuna. Let's put a little sign up here. This is going to be your side of the room. And I'm going to name the other girl who's actually disappeared right now. Luna. Luna and Asuna. So Asuna is really into fighting and swords and weapons. And Luna is going to be into science and space. So let's go and see what decorative items would work in their room. What colour beds can we choose from? Let's do black bed for the girl like space and Asuna would have a white bed and a microscope for the girl like science and space and I'm gonna give Asuna a laptop too. Now where the heck are all my spare swords and stuff to give Asuna? Let's give her some of these spare ones and we'll just pop those in some sword holders. So Asuna's bed on this side, I'm gonna put it, ta-da, 
That's quite cute actually. And then I'll give her a bedside table too. And then the Space Girls bed on this side. So I'm gonna put it here. Put a bedside table here too. And then we're gonna need to put this chalkboard somewhere. It's absolutely huge. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to put it up here. I don't know how she's gonna write on it up there. Okay, let's put a bedside table here and put a little microscope on it. <gasps> That's cool. And then Asuna needs her laptop on here. There we go. And then we'll put all the sword holders around. Looking fancy. Okay, now to find out what the heck a sword ground is. Oh, I think it's a sword on the ground. So <laughs> I'm just gonna plop this down here as if she just left it lying around. And then we'll put a few more sword holders. Oh wait, there's a candy and an amethyst sword. That would look much better than this. Ta-da! Lots of swords. She does love her swords, doesn't she? Now the science is like, no, not down again. For someone that loves science and space, she's kind of derpy. Oh, there she is. I think we need more space and science stuff. Oh, I know. This is cool. This is a stack of books. Oh, they look really cool. Oh, we should make a bookshelf for her too. So actually these bookshelves are kind of plain. So I'm going to grab a chisel and then I should be able to customize them to look pretty cool. So I'm going to pop some bookshelves down here. And then I'm gonna click them. Oh, oh, we have all these different varieties. Rainbow books, Necromancer's bookshelf, Abandoned bookshelf. I think I'm gonna go for the rainbow books. This one really speaks to me. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh, you know what? We should put some more books on top of that. Boop. Oh yeah, that looks so cool. And then finally, I'm gonna add a little globe on here because she loves space. All right, this room is done. Let's move on to the next one. Down this super awkward ladder. Goodbye, Molly and your horse room. So the last room of the day is up here, past the Easter Bunny who has pooped out a bunch of eggs while we've been gone. Hello, my lovelies. So you guys came up with some really cool ideas for their names, but my favorites were Cinder for this evil looking girlfriend over here, Zelda for my lovely, beautiful, innocent fairy princess with pink hair, and Evie for my favorite girlfriend. So I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them each a little area. Okay, everyone is by their own little areas. So let's go get them some beds to match their personalities. I think their personalities really match up with their names. So we should be able to find them some cool stuff. First of all, let's start with the beds. So for Zelda, I'm gonna give her this cute pastel pink bed. I'm gonna give Cinder this orange bed. And for Evie, I'm gonna give her my favorite color bed, which is this coral pink color. We're also gonna need a couple of bedside tables and maybe a wardrobe for them to keep all their clothes in. <gasps> Let's have this princess bed for Zelda. Ugh, it takes so long to walk up and down these stairs all the time. I've got an idea. Let's set up a portal, which will take us straight to our girlfriend's room. Right, where shall I pop this door? Maybe over here. Ta -da! So now we should be able to get from the downstairs to the upstairs to visit our girlfriends really easily. And finally, Evie's bed is gonna be here. Oh, that looks so cute. Now, where the heck are we gonna put this dresser? Ta-da! This is looking pretty full. <laughs> So now we just need some little decorations to really decorate their rooms. I think Zelda would like this perfume. So we'll grab her one of these. And Evie loves reindeers. So I'm gonna give her a little Rudolph plushie. I feel like Zelda would really love sheep. So I'm gonna get a couple of sheep plushies for her. Oh, and Evie loves the same stuffed wolf that I have. So we're gonna get matching wolves. <gasps> Let's get Cinder some stuffed spiders. Oh, these are cool. A zombie trophy head. Let's see what the room looks like with all these things in it. Um, oh, we need some shelves or something. So let's put some shelves up. Got a little sheep plushie on there. And another one all the way up there. She would definitely like this. Oh, how adorable. I love Zelda's half of the room. It's probably my favorite. Okay, um, so Cinder's half of the room. I'm gonna give her this zombie head trophy. Whoa. And these plushy spiders. Ooh, creepy. Oh gosh, what are you doing? I'm gonna put some shelves up here and we'll have a flower pot on one of them. I wish that Zelda's bed was smaller. I think we're gonna have to switch it for this one so we have more room to decorate. Oh, I still like that, that's pretty cute. 
Uh oh, I spawned a chicken in here. Why did I do that? Let's give Evie some shelf space too. And we'll give her the reindeer plushie and the stuffed wolf plushie. Put the stuffed wolf on here just like mine. And the reindeer will go just here. Oh, that's so cute. I'm also going to decorate Evie's area with this little cat head because I feel like she loves cats as much as I do. <gasps> that's such a cute head. Oh, you guys are so cute together. And I'm going to give Zelda this golden cow head oh that looks pretty and cinder already has this zombie head decapitated on the wall but i'm also gonna give her this decapitated villager head which looks super creepy and i'm kind of scared of cinder now wow i really love you girls rooms i think my favorite room of all has to be either zelda's or evie's let me know which one was your favorite though thank you for watching this episode of crazy craft if you enjoyed please make sure to leave a like if you want to see more episodes subscribe to me for new videos and i will see you next time what does the rocket do oh my god so let's try out classic game mode for <gasps> that's cute he's blue now Ta-da! whoa what's happening look how much stuff i have why what at the cow I wanted the cow.